Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine ND. So we left off with this interface that we created and an overlap event. So when the player overlaps and gets into the overlap area, I call, it checks to see if uh, Wukong has the interface. And we go ahead and call the enemy main attack. And we had the tick function, used the tick function to just kind of do a roaming around in a thousand range radius. And we did a on C pawn sensing to move to the player. So all of this right here is going to be removed. This is just prototyping stuff, putting things in the tick and doing things like this. This is all just prototyping because the next series is going to be behavior trees with blueprints and we're going to replace all of this with C++. So that's going to be in the next series. But let's go ahead and get this working. What we need to do is get Chimera. We need what we need to do is get Chimera working. Actually walking around. So let's go to animation. Let's go to blend space 1D. I'm not going to do uh, blend space, like eight-way blend space or anything. We did that for the character. I just wanted to get this done quickly. So let's just go ahead and choose Chimera. And we are going to call this Chimera blend space. And we'll just hit enter, save it real quick, open it up. Now what we are going to do is we are going to come in here and change none. If you don't see horizontal, just click on the little arrow, drop down horizontal axis. We want to choose speed and go minimum and maximum zero to 600. Go ahead and click save. And then what we need to do is forward, jog forward. And we need a travel mode forward. We'll put that over there. So that's the speed of like 300 and then max speed of like 600. And of course we need an idle. And idle. Uh, On idle, we just want to do the HS idle. So this is what we have. We have idle, we have HS idle, then we have a jog forward, and then we have a travel mode forward. So we'll go ahead and save that. This is just 1D. It's just going to go from idle to like a jog, and then I guess that's a run. And in between, you kind of like walk, maybe. So this is what we have. You can go ahead and do it differently if you have different animations. But I'm just working with the animations we got just to get this done. So now that we have the blend space created, we need to hook it up to the animation blueprint. So go ahead, and once you get the 1D blend space working, Go ahead and open Animation Blueprint and if you don't see this, you can always go down here to the left and then click on Anim. So if you're if you're in your graph, you can come over here to Graphs, Event Graph to get to the Event Graph. You can click on Anim Graph in the lower left and click on that. Go ahead and click on where it says New State Machine. I am going to rename that to Locomotion. And we're going to double click that. We're going to idle walk run. Now, so you should be in Anim Graph, Locomotion, idle walk run. Go ahead and look for the Camaro blend space you did. Drag that out where it says speed you want to right click and type in speed. This is movement, get speed. That is right here.
in the do 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 source Wukong public enemy in the, in the enemy anim instance this right here speed of enemy that is what we we are using because we made it visible anywhere blueprint read only and then movement so if you hover over that it says read the value of variable speed okay but it says speed of enemy that's the comment that we put in there so go ahead and hook that up and then hook this right up click compile and save so now go ahead and save it so now when we jump in and we click play between one and five seconds we have it because that's when it goes off and as you can see it's Camera is roaming around and animations ain't all that great but hey it's free it's what we work with this is just a learning experience so that's what we have and when we get in front it says called from enemy class that's the interface because we have the spear overlapping and this right here is just prototyping real quick the attack spear 300 to attack that is that is just prototyping to get things working so we understand that things are working then we can jump into the behavior trees so now that we have that run working we need to work on a attack animation so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video and look for an attack animation we can create a montage Alrighty, so i've taken a look at some of the attack animations and if you go into paragon characters heroes chimera animations and if you just type in melee we have a melee a which we can use this and then i uh, saw melee b we can use that one so i think it just comes with a few attacks it has melee a fast slow and melee a b and c so and the c looks like this it's still yeah so the melee c looks like that we're just going to use melee a and b so let me go ahead and close that out and the one thing if you are going to start doing the attack animations we need to close that out but i'm going to show you what we're going to be doing so whoops let's go ahead and jump back over to enemy and we need to create a blend space not i mean i'm sorry not a blend space we need to create montage so let's just go over here and get an montage we're going to use a chimera we are going to call this chimera attack montage and save it real quick open that up and let's go in here and search for melee melee a i believe all right so we've added the melee a let's go ahead and add so we've added melee a let's go ahead and add melee b okay so we've added melee a and we've added melee b so what we need to do is go ahead and come up top here you need to right click new montage section i'm just going to call this attack one and what i want to do is click over here to get that over there take this drag it over and try and get the default one nope okay there's the default one kind of like how we did with the player so i'm going to click on that right click and say delete a montage section so that's attack one then i want to kind of control hold down control and scroll in 
with your mouse wheel, right click new montage section, attack two. And I want to get that right over top of there and scroll out. Okay, so now that we have these, you can play them. Now, if you do this, what you need to do is come over here to montage section because right now we need to go ahead and go ahead and clear it. Click clear and do attack one attack two because if you don't it's just going to play attack one and then go right back in and play attack two by doing that it just plays the one that you are calling so let's go ahead and save this so now we got attack one attack two what we need to do is jump into the animal blueprint and locomotion you want to come over here and say deep slot a default slot S in the default group and plug that in and go ahead and compile and save. So now let's go ahead and jump into the blueprint. So when we overlap, we're going to trigger the enemy to attack. So enemy main attack. What we're going to do is we're going to set this up with C++ in another video. And that's going to be in the enemy main attack right here in the enemy.cpp enemy main attack this is where we are going to be calling the montages kind of like how we did for the player